This is an LDM Custom Sabers Jason Solo lightsaber. It's a custom saber that's inspired by the design of the Jason Solo lightsaber in Legends. So it's always neat to see some Legends designs that are still kind of getting out there into the wild. Now, uh, what's neat about the overall design of this hilt, though, you guys, is it feels very familiar and it's very similar to the Luke Skywalker ROTJ lightsaber, the thin neck saber, but at the same time, it's got its own unique design design flares too. So a very nice blend that way. And certainly within, you know, the Star Wars, um, the, the Star Wars galaxy within Legends anyway, uh, Jason Solo as the nephew of Luke. I mean, it kind of makes sense that his saber uh, borrows some of the design elements or is inspired, you know, by his uncle's lightsaber. But um, also since, you know, Luke Skywalker kind of brought back the Jedi too. But um, anyway, moving on from story side of things. So um, LDM Custom Sabers originally released the Jason Solo style hilt several years ago. And so this is this was just very recently revived in 2021. And Corbin Sabers was actually selling this hilt in their store. Um, so that's where it was available most recently. But, you know, let's take a look. It's an aluminum hilt, machined aluminum, mostly metallic silver with some accent colors, a little bit of black kind of in the grip section in the box and, you know, toward the bottom. And then also we have these cool little blinky things, this uh, red one and this green one. Now, the very top of the hilt, we've got that iconic, that classic flared emitter with this sort of bell shape to it. And then also the thin neck here. Below that, we've got these four very deep grooves. So it's a very deep grooved uh, grip section, and it's got sort of a, a V shape to it. And then below that, we've got the, uh, the card on top with the box, so the, the control box or the activation box. And one of the neat things is this box can be configured you know, as a, a functioning switch for the saber. So uh, this card is included with the kit and then also this one. And there are some um, switches too. And then these little, I call them blinkies, the, the little LEDs on the side, they, they may actually be uh, wired to, you know, illuminate as accent LEDs. So that's pretty sweet. They do look pretty cool even when they're not <laughs> illuminated. So, you know, red one on the top and then the green one on the bottom. So a little different than like the, the Luke Skywalker hilt has those little arrows instead, but these little domed kind of blinkies are, are pretty sweet too. And you can see there's kind of milled detailing around that as well. Now there's so another black accent mark uh, toward, toward the lower part of the hilt, but you know, it doesn't have that same V cut <laughs> as the hilt had above it. And then finally, uh, in the pommel area, we've got the venting on the bottom, certainly to accommodate sound installs. And then this sort of classic gear shaped kind of gear tooth um, styling, you know, to the pommel. So um, that's just kind of the hilt overall. Now, if we break the, down this hilt, one of the nice things is this hilt does break down into quite a few pieces. Also, this is included, put that in there. Um, oh, uh, one of the cool features I also haven't pointed out yet is the, um, well, this, this top piece, this kind of goes along with breaking down the hilt. So you can see that the emitter um, kind of comes off the hilt like that, and then the retention screws would go in below the emitter. So here in the threaded section, there's one hole on that side, and then there's also one on uh, the far side of it. So the second piece that unscrews after this, this kind of disc at the top is the neck. So here's a look at that. I'll just kind of put that to the side. And then the next piece is this entire body section. So everything from, you know, right around the, the box area up to the top of the kind of grip. And one of the things you'll notice is that kind of black groove section is really just sort of a, a black section that's um, connected to this, the final piece of the hilt. So if we can have all that on camera, those are the pieces that it breaks down to. Um, and then here's just um, 
the other kind of pieces that the kit includes. If I can get that on camera. There we go. So let's just kind of